If you can't get to space, well, just bring a little piece of it back down to Earth. That's the idea of this national science scheme rolled out across 10,000 of the country's schools. In these trays lies two types of rocket seeds, ones that have journeyed about 200 miles above the Earth to the International Space Centre, but none other than Brit Tim Peake, and those that are just your average ones. The trick, back on Earth, nobody knows which ones are which. Children have been involved at school in coming in and taking measurements to compare the growth of the seeds that have been into space um, with the ones that have remained on Earth to see whether zero gravity um, has had an effect on the growth of seedlings. And the main aim of the project has been to try and find out whether in the future um, people will be able to grow seeds in space. The children here at the New Invention Junior School in Willinghall have been working on this project for six weeks now. In the next couple of months, they'll get a special message from astronaut Tim Peake, telling them which seeds were from high up in space and which ones were from down here right on Earth. It's safe to say that enthusiasm is high. I'm really excited because it's nationwide and we're like a f we're one of the schools that get to do it and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to grow seeds that have been into space. But this is actually been into space where, well, you can't really go every day. So they've been up into space. We've got to plant them. We've got to take care of them. So it's, <laughs> so it's been very great. Because like it's, it's not something that you get to do every day, like so doing this has changed so that we get to do something that not, not many people have done. We don't get to do this stuff, we normally write in our books our predictions, but with this you, you have to like plant seeds, like the percentages and like work out all, all the stuff that the plants have like grown. The children have all been really excited about it um, and obviously in the future we're looking into space travel and things like that so obviously um, we need to think about growing food in space one day um, hopefully so this is just the start of many things to come I think and it's just great that we can get so many children involved in, in this project. For the entire time I'm here these children are glued to this hands-on project. There's an air of eagerness and motivation and Sadie tells me that some of these youngsters are learning more than just science. Some children who've been taking part in this project have actually said, oh, I want to be a scientist when I'm older. So if anything, it's good that it's actually inspiring them to, to, to perhaps take, take on roles like that later in life. Um, and it makes them realise that it's not all about just sort of sitting down working in a book. It's all about getting involved, getting the hands dirty. Inspired and in awe, this change in classic classroom teaching may have just paved the way for the UK's British scientists of the future. Roshni Patel for Big News in Willinghall.